spent a majority of your life behind the wheel of a race car, and, and a good chunk of that has been in NASCAR's, you know, top series. What's it going to be like next year? Have you have you reflected at all about your career and, and what the future might look like for you? Well, I, I've been very fortunate. I, I grew up a NASCAR fan, and my parents took me to races as, as a kid. And here now, being 43 years old, I've spent over half my life as a NASCAR driver in, in one of the top three series. So it's very special. A lot more good than bad. It's, it's a lot to be proud of. I don't know what next year will bring. I know it's going to bring happiness. I get to spend a lot more time with, with my kids and my family. I've already got a job, so I already know kind of what my year will be laid out like. But I don't know how my effect of not being in a track will be. If you go to a racetrack for 23 years straight and then all of a sudden cut it off, I'm not sure what my effect will be, but um, you know, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. Obviously pretty good buddies with Dale Jr. He stepped away last year. Have you talked to him about what that adjustment period may be like? I, I did, and he had a great saying uh, that has really stuck with me. We're not really retiring from something, I'm retiring to something. You know, he was retiring to his family and to the broadcast booth. It's not really I'm retiring from racing. I'm retiring to spend more time with my family, retiring to be a baseball and a softball coach full time. So I'm, that's the way I'm looking at it. Really, I'm retiring to be more of a full time dad, to spend more time with my kids. I think at an age where they need it most. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that part of it. So he, he's got a couple little pop up deals. He hops back in the race car. Has he talked you into one or two, maybe? We talked about some know late model races and stuff like that it, it's still some things I want to do like that I would love to go run the Martinsville race with the late models some I had done since I was a teenager I'll go race some go-karts you know he and I both have talked about scratching that itch a little bit you know get back in the race car somewhere somehow and, and, and just just have a little fun no pressure just go out and, and have a good time in the race so we're definitely going to do that some We'll just wait till the time is right. Ten years from now, when someone mentions your name, what do you want fans to, to say about you? I just hope they think I was an ordinary guy, man. I just seem to always get along good with the fans. Just a guy's guy, you know, and, and that's the way I want to be remembered, more off the track than, than probably on the track, that I that I did it the right way and was just an ordinary guy that just was a fan one time on one side of the fence, just lucky enough to make it to the other side.